This is my life. This is my life. We are still in Antigua. <laughs> Why do I have to drive the car? Tamika clearly was like, no, I don't want to drive. I was like, what? What? She didn't give her license or anything. Maybe she did. I don't know. But all I'm saying is I had to drive this car. Now it was weird because like, you have to really like jam down on the on the gap, jam down. I feel like that was something very antiguan to say. A little island in me, a little Long Island. What? No, too much. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I had to like push down really hard on the on the gas and that was like alarming to me because I'm like, I don't want to hurt anybody. And there's like people walking so we're just like, oh no. And then uh, it was a lot, but it was good. We're driving the go-kart and I don't know what's about to happen. I'm not very confident in it, but Jesus is my strength. Don't really sure. There, I think we're here for like maybe four or five days. This is a long trip and I'm missing my family, but I'm definitely excited to kind of make this place my home. And we've like been able to go shopping and we're cooking. It's so amazing. Basically after offering, we're gonna acknowledge the pastors that have come out tonight. But if you can start getting ready during offering maybe, you can start coming. So we've done all of the interviews or most of the interviews that we would do this week. And now it's time to go to the night of prayer. We've invited um, many churches from the neighborhood to come out, and here we are. And first up, sound check. One thing I've noticed is that I'm learning how to sound check with number one without getting frustrated and number two just being direct and saying what I need or what I want. Um, I feel like in the past I was always like afraid to really ask for what I wanted. Sometimes I just realize that I probably won't get what I want. I just let it go. I'll ask and then I'll just let it go. But in this um, situation, I'm excited to sound check and to say um, what I need and what I don't need. And I feel like a real singer. We welcome her to our shores. This is your first time here, Naomi? Wonderful. So, welcome to Tiga and uh, we welcome your ministry. so big oh. did i say ranch i meant to say <laughs> the resort that we were on was so huge you needed this little cart to get you from place to place we were at jolly beach resort and we had to go to another side we found some beautiful homes some beautiful spaces and um and greenery that we could take some pictures near and the sun is blazed in hip-hop and r&b reggae soca antigua music i don't know what you call it it was really bad okay it, the sun was hot okay and now i'm starting to think that that radio guy was right the weather is right yes right. what Okay. So, what? <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> um, yeah. 
So we are here in Antigua and we are gearing up for prayer jam. I'm excited because one, I just feel like it's going to be an explosive time. I'm getting um, ready to like experience new music and artists that I've never heard before, which is super fun. And um, I'm just praying that people would, you know, enjoy the music and what I have to bring. The, the, what's up? Um, I'm gonna get some garlic. You don't like mushrooms, right? I like mushrooms. Who like told you I don't like mushrooms? We need veggies, vegetables. We need vegetables. And this is. Yo, this is local Yo, these spinach. Peppers Should, look we... Mad good. Should we eat the local spinach? Yeah. It's $5.95. Yeah. And the, the American spinach is $10.75. So, mm. Like the natives on this one. <laughs> on this one. On this go round. You tell us, tell us about your island. You see, ladies and gentlemen all over the world, welcome to Antigua. We met a whole friend. We gave him a ride. Now we were on like a, in a community, so it made sense. It wasn't foolish, but um, yeah, and he'll share his story. And we got 365 beaches, some we never discover. You understand? Christopher, Christopher Columbus tell us lies. But we got more beach than what he discovered. In Antigua, Barbuda, it's nice in the island. We got Shirley Heights, we got Boggy Peak. We got so many historical sites. It's there to see. But don't watch me, watch Ari. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the villa, and now we're hanging out with JD and Nisa. Now, everybody, meet JD and Nisa. They are uh, ministers and singers and performers um, from Trinidad and Tobago, and they are just everything. <laughs> Jesus, love it never fails. Maybe you have to take your time. You're running, you're running ahead of the, the groove. I didn't even, I didn't even <laughs> do this so the yet. Shall come lead the way. Blow my stones away. So, Nisa was a little camera shy in the beginning, but she's one of the sweetest people I've met in a long time, but very like strong, like strong, sweet, opinionated, um, and just cool. I heard the angels say, oh, 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 all you have to be like, perfect. Yeah. All you have to be perfect, because you have to be in the same key. All you have to be like sharp. Or don't be sharp, don't be flat. And then, you know, you, you can jeopardize stuff with your music. I don't, they're like, you want to sing something? Bye! Boom! And JD is hilarious. He's funny. And he's mad cool too. Like you could just tell when somebody really loves Jesus. Like I feel like he's somebody who wears his testimony on his sleeve. Like what he's been through, where he's where he's come from, and it's just very refreshing to see an honest person in ministry. Like is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> is this on? You know so. Mm -mm. It's not, it's not easy to sing early. Cause your voice is not fully 
But you probably your voice is probably so used to like you doing like this when you try to like do softer stuff like when you use want to use your voice in a more you have to diverse way. way. Yeah, mm -hmm. you gotta and so if that's why like I don't scream. Like I'm not I sing pretty loud, mm -hmm. but I don't scream and do like uh, like stuff with my voice. That's why I'd be worried about with her cause when she does this so I'd be worried if it might damage her voice. Nah, that's it from the right place. Yeah, she, you could do it from the right place. Oh, okay, okay. But for the most part, like, you won't, they'll, they'll tell you, like, the kids will be calling from the other room, and I'm like, y'all already know, mommy's not screaming across the room. Because mm -hmm. I had, I had nodules on my vocal cords, and I had polyps. I got healed in six weeks. But I'm not playing no games. You yeah. see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna waste no time. You kind of want to, actually. Like, I really sing and talk about yeah. loss, yes? Parts of my voice, I have one part. This is my life. The Bible says, after death. After death. Ready for a